Oh, well, here we are again. I know, I keep threatening and claiming I'm done for the month, but, you know, when your cats wake you up at 3.30, what are you really supposed to do other than listen to a show from October of 1999? Albany, New York, October 9th. And just two days ago, I was saying Wilson's like the best opener they have, you know, most likely, probably, it's arguable, it's certainly up there, and then they followed it with Chalk Dust, that show. Well, this one, they go punch you in the eye, Wilson, which might be an even better combo, possibly if they had flipped them, Wilson first, but I don't know, punch you in the eye would also be in the argument for one of their greatest openers. And it's just, for me, that's just how a show should start. Let's go. You know, people have been waiting around. They're anticipating this show. And boom, let's just go. No, this Petrica opener like I got in Charleston in, what, 2016? That was awful. Punch you in the eye, Wilson. That's a great way to go. Then we get Gaiuti right after that. Had the whistling. And this is an audience recording. And this was the uh, best part of the, uh, of, the, of the best part of the audience recordings are songs like this when you really get to hear the crowd pop. And they went crazy. About 9,000 people all cheering at once. You got the hamster wheel part. You know, it's like... And then it's like breaks free. And a dun, dun, dun. Just like the main theme of Gaiuti right there in that change, man. The crowd just absolutely blasted off. And then after the Gaiuti, you get into this ghost, which was one of the highlights of the show, I guess, it seems like, you know. It was a very strong ghost. And then it even has like, there's some controversy here. It says, my left toe on the uh, fish.in set list. And then on .net, they're like, they didn't play My Left Toe. It's one of them songs from the Sicket Disc. I don't know. As I'm listening to this jam, I'm thinking, this does kind of sound like a, something from the Sicket Disc. And there was parts, too, when it hit the uh, the good old-fashioned Bliss Jam. And then it had the uh, the 99 sound to it. You know, one of, probably a, one of the best times. for a Ghost has always been really good, really. But uh, this was probably one of its best times. There in the late 90s. And then right now, that is where we're at. We are calling a timeout. Right now, I am just up through the Ghost Jam. We're getting ready to start free. And I'm telling you right now, I am skipping Sparkle and Possum. Maybe I'll check out the last five minutes of Possum. I am skipping Sparkle in the first four minutes of Possum. We'll be back. <laughs> um, Trey... Trey is trying his best to build a big crescendo in this free, and it's just not quite happening. And it's been a very good free, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's almost like a 2017 style, like build, white lights, boom, out of here. And uh, it's just not quite nailing it, you know? They weren't, they didn't have this type of jamming down back then, I guess. <clears throat> All right. Still two thumbs up on the free, even if they aren't nailing the peak. Peaky, dude. Hey man, when your audio file looks like that, when it's just one big blob, that's a that's a red flag. Possum, I see you. Okay, so possum was possum. They end the set with that, and now we get into set two and the limb by limb set opener, and the ninety nine limb by limb we heard the other day, or I heard we recapped. Hopefully you watched. I don't know. Limb by limb was played then, and it was also a stellar ninety nine version. This one topping that one, and again, it's just such a John Fishman song. I mean, the fact that it's called limb by limb is no coincidence. And he's just crushing it throughout. But then right towards the end, maybe two-thirds the way in, it almost like there's a little bit of a shift. Like Paige maybe feels like we're going to wrap up the song here, coming off of the jam. And then Trey, much like the Wilson earlier, he kind of just goes full heavy metal again. Just the tone and the style of playing. Just, uh, just a little bit of a shred fest there to keep the jam going. And then into the traditional end with uh, reminding you once again why it's a John Fishman song. But Trey stealing a little bit of the thunder here. And the first couple minutes here of 2001, uh, also Sprock Zappahusta. <sighs> it is uh, giving Fishman a, a much-needed break, a little bit of a rest here for everybody as we carefully work our way into 2001. Here are a few blabbermouths here on the, uh, on the, uh, in the taper section here on the audience recording. All right, to be continued. We got, this looks like the bulk of the show, this Limb by Limb 2001 Down With Disease. While the ghost was nice, back Aaron set one over there. I guess it was more this way. I'd say those blabbermouths are probably from Syracuse. 
Oh, so after easing their way into that 2001, uh, they go on, they ride that for a while. Trey jumps over on keys. There was even like a almost a scratching sound. Uh, I don't know if that was Trey playing around with his guitar or if that was with Trey on keys. This would have been nice to have some video. But then once again, once this thing got heated up, Fishman and Gordon were just right there the whole time, keeping it steady and uh, allowing Fishman or uh, allowing Paige to do whatever. Fishman allowing, I keep on to say Fishman, Fishman, Fishman. It was a Fishman show. He's on the mind. Allowing Trey to do things like jump over on keys or try to turn his guitar into some kind. He was like, wait, 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 wait. Like a little scratching sound. Almost like, what is this, DJ Trey? We had heavy metal Trey. Now we got DJ Trey. Where's Rockstar Trey? Rockstar Trey appears in Down With Disease, stays down with disease the whole time, but just completely a shred fest. And he just he keeps kicking it up a notch, just seeing how fast and crazy he can go. And now we are at Waiting in the Velvet Sea and not quite the, uh, the kind of spacey uh, loopy jam we had the other day in Down With Disease from that 99 show. And uh, what do we got coming up? Did I, did I see a Loving Cup coming up? Uh, slave to the Traffic Light Encore on the way. That one's going to be money. You just know it is. They got one night left, though. They should have saved this for night two in Albany, perhaps. Hey, who am I? What do I know? Okay, now, Simple also. Now, look, if you really love Simple, but this is so far uh, six minutes, 21 seconds in. This is just very much Simple. It's um, not a whole lot going on here. Sounds nice. Played nicely, like I said, if you're a big fan, but... uh. Just kind of filling some time get to, just to get to that loving cup, which I am not listening to one second of. <laughs> oh, they got me. Okay, I heard two seconds of loving cup. The simple quietly, peacefully faded out. And then I was like, it almost sounded like silent in the morning. And as I'm listening, oh, I love it. There's a brief pause, too. Just barely any moment. Not even a pause. A pause from the band, but not enough time for me to hit the skip button. I heard two seconds of loving cup. Whoever these people are whistling during this slave, I hope they are no longer with us. And I don't mean as fans. I mean just on Earth in general. How dare they? Oh, I couldn't have timed this any better. The sun has risen a while ago, but it has finally passed the trees right here during slave. Ah, I almost feel like I'm a big cypress and this is waiting in the Velvet Sea. Except it's 2024, and I'm in Dayton, Ohio, in a metal house. And this is an audience recording. Still nice. Hey, look, dude. Do I kind of look like Conan O'Brien? Let me show this to Mary later. It's cool. <laughs> All right, we got to wrap this up. We are deep in here. It's slave to the traffic light. What a great way to end it. As always, uh, like I said, the, the next night maybe would have been. Anyways, uh, didn't never felt like a 1999 song, Slay. Really the only song of its kind on the night. Saving it for the encore makes does make sense that in that sense. So, uh, sense in that sense. All right, it's out of here, man. How many cents? You can give me, give me a couple cents. Boom, out of here. That's three on that. That was, that was a rough ending to an otherwise fun recap and a fun show to listen to. All right, well, I'm going to go out here and throw my cats off the roof or out a window or something. I still hear them out there. It's insane. All right, this has gone on way too long. Boom. Brandy, you're the man.